Right. So lineups are already here, which is really nice. Uh, set one is going to be Nox and Greg. They ban Lava Hound, and Blood Diamond is going to be Seppi and Matthias. With the ban that will come soon. Oh, whoopsie. There we go. Okay. So, uh, Matthias and Zappi are playing for Blood Diamond, and Nox and Orcs, well, like Greg, I guess, are playing for Fraternity Esports. And there we go. Okay, so. Let's get a bit more into commentating here. Uh, we do see wall breakers here from Blood Diamond. Uh, actually, double wall breakers uh, with the miner as well. So this adds a lot of pressure here. Now, Fraternity is playing a double healer as well. So I think we're going to see some beatdown versions here. Maybe a graveyard as well from Greg. Maybe actually two graveyards could be a possibility as well. There is the first one from Nox. So yeah, I think Greg is playing the graveyard as well. Hey Anton, you stayed. That's lovely. And uh, we are back with the last game for tonight here. Again, it's going to be Fraternity Esports against Blood Diamond. You just came back for the first game, which is very nice. And we see another wall break is coming down here. Uh, into the bomb tower here. So good defense from Fraternity. Why are they playing 2v2? <laughs> this is getting a meme now. Uh, because it's the same league, but uh, yeah. <laughs> right. So this is the first set here again, first game actually. And so far it's looking good for Fraternity Esports here on the blue side. And we see Dark Open as well as Musketeer. So the Dark Omen is going to get some early damage on that Inferno. I think in combination with the Poison, that should be enough. Miner's is going to go onto the Musketeer. And second Miner's is going to go straight to the tower. But getting caught by that healer here, very nice. That's some good fireball value, but the Musketeer died. Two healers are on the way as well. Let's see. There is going to be a Graveyard here. Pekka is going to... He oh, blah, blah. Pekka is going to keep the healer out of the way for the, te blah, for the tower to attack the Graveyard here. And defense is on point. Maybe a bit much here, but uh, should be good. Paperdang is going to go on Inferno, which is very important. But Inferno actually took a lot of damage. He is going to survive that, though, with a sliver of health there. Look at that. Beautiful. Knight doesn't get anywhere. Bomb Tower is there, but this time around, Bomb Tower didn't go on the Wall Breakers. And uh, to be honest, we haven't seen Wall Breakers in a while here. So Fraternity is putting up a lot of pressure here, even though that um, Blood Diamond... Oh, okay. Blood Diamond with the very aggressive Pekka here. They were scared about the Graveyard again, but I think this time around they didn't catch a Graveyard. So they still have that Graveyard Pekka is going to die, that Prince. Oh, it's going to go down with the Wall Breakers, very interesting here. And that Bomb Tower in the last second, very nice. Graveyard, again, Poison is there though to catch that, but some Lucky Skeletons do get a hit in. And the tower is now at 840. Looking good for Fraternity here. Healer going to go back to that Miner, which is okay because the Mega Knight is tanking that Brawler there. And that is a good attack here. Good tank with a graveyard again. No poison inside so far. And this tower is going to die soon. 
Freeze is there as well, but Ewis was fast enough, and Dark Omni is going to do the rest here. Poison as well. This tower is very low, and it's not looking good here for Blood Diamond. I think the Musketeer locked on, which is going to be the good game in this first game. The good game in this first game. I, I need more names for stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway. So yeah, that is going to be the 1-0 here for Fraternity. If they win the next one, they do have to set up. Uh, they do have the Z here. Anton, I'm so tired. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rather late. It's 22.11. Luckily or unluckily, I am not working today. Uh, tomorrow. Because of Corona, there's nothing to do. Anyway, Nox is requesting for that next game here. And uh, Greg is ready as well. Let's see if they have changed. So last time around, they did play the double wall breakers, uh, which did add a lot of pressure here in the first minute, but then in double elixir, Nox and... Wait, actually, no, wrong way around. Nox and Greg played the graveyards here. Do you still get paid? No. That, yeah. It's kind of a problem, but it's okay. We'll manage. We always do. Musketeer again here from Zeppi. Healer and Mega Knight. So Mega Minion is a very popular card here in 2v2. And I think w with reason in a certain kind of decks, right? I mean, in Love Hand, obviously. Good card, good card. But I think the healer as well. So not sure if Nox and Greg changed up their composition. It looks rather similar to me. But uh, now Matthias is playing that healer as well. Very aggressive freeze, but I think it's worth it on that graveyard. Let's see. They managed to actually minimize the damage on that graveyard. It is next to nothing. And this is going to be a big counter push. So that freeze might have been a bit aggressive. And now there is the counter graveyard here. Count graveyard also very, very popular card in 2v2. Uh, which, uh... Ooh, Mega Knight actually gets to jump in. Skellies do kind of stack up. This is a lot of damage here. Look at that. Jesus, and the healer is on that as well. Wow, I thought this was going to stop at around 1k or something, but not 400. That is very, very good leverage here for Nox and Greg. So now it's just waiting here. Greg is going to be the one with 10 elixir first, and it's going to go with a Mega Minion. And we, interestingly enough, see a Baby Dragon on the other side here. Let's see. How this baby dragon is going to see, be supported. Maybe with a graveyard easily as that. Muscular locked on to that baby dragon. Dark Goblin sadly did as well, but the baby dragon in the back is going to help out on that graveyard. Baby <laughs> wow, the opposing baby dragon died rather fast. Mega Knight is not going to jump back and tank for the tower. Very nice. Bomb tower actually got some nice value on those units, but it's not enough to kill them. And again, this is going to be nice damage here. It's going to be probably left tower as well. We see the freeze on our Mega Knight. Getting some more hits is very, very nice. That was some good damage here. But the counter push from Zeppi and Matthias might be bigger than they expect. Let's see if they can defend it. Early graveyard. Too early graveyard, but poison is there anyway. In combination with the Musketeer. But the Mega Minion goes straight for the tower. Gets caught by the other Mega Minion. We see now a graveyard here on the other side as well. Musketeer locked on. That's some nice damage, but the guards will do the rest here. Where we see the Baby Dragon and the Musketeer actually take that tower here on the right side. And now it's 1-1 one, one again. And damage-wise, this is close. Now it's Nox and Greg who are, in be uh, who are behind here. 300 damage to be exact. And uh, wow, what a comeback here from Zappi and Matthias. I thought this was long over, but it was definitely not here. And uh, let's see, Bomb Tower in defense here, Mega Knight as well stacking up. But that main tower of Nox and Greg is down to 1900. So that could be some unfortunate Musketeer lock-ons. And not so far though. But uh, Snowball Cycle here just to get that damage in. Double Bomb Tower as well. See what they do against that Mega Knight. I think nothing. Uh, they're just going to be very aggressive in defending here. Look at that. But yeah, Double Musketeer is very, very strong in 2v2. Like, it's, there's so many units that can protect that. And Freeze as well might be very unexpected. But I'm not too sure, like... It's, it's, it's Freeze is kind of hard to play, right? So you can, you can buy back very, very quickly. But double Bomb Tower here from Zappi and Matthias. They do not care anymore about that graveyard. 
they are just going to go heavy on that defense. And uh, now going to go for Baby Dragon. But Baby Dragon is not supported by any graveyard, which uh, kind of came off unexpected. Now we have the graveyard freeze. Ooh, the healer as a tank. Freeze three units. Baby Dragon is still alive, though, but some skellies do manage to lock on. It's not that many, but the tower is now at 423. And uh, Mega Minion runs into a double musketeer here. Bomb tower. Poison and freeze here aggressively. The Graver is unchecked here. Snowball, it's going to help. 900, 800. This is going to go down. This is going to be so quick. Whew, another Graveyard here now from Nox and Greg. This is neck and neck. No poison this time. Some Skelly's locked on, and this is a lot of damage. Snowball is down. Graveyard here now aggressive as well. We see a poison. Freeze as well. 46. I think that poison is going to be enough here on the blue side. So Nox and Greg take this. Second game. Wow, this was neck and neck and so many graveyards. My head is tingling. Woof. All right. So again, the first game went to Nox and Greg. Second game went to Nox and Greg. So that means first set will be um, to Blood Diamond. Yeah. So the second set is going to be King of the Hill. And... Uh, yeah, we're just quickly waiting for the lineups here. No bands in the second set here. Uh, the bands for the first are Lava Hound and Nado. Okay. Freddy! I'm back from raping people in GTA. You had me at the first time. <laughs> at the first half. <laughs> yeah, I've been up for two hours, but I've been cheating. Uh, we had some breaks. I have, to, I have this lovely Be Right Back, which I use. Ah, I think I'm not that late. <laughs> uh, well, you showed up for... Hey, Shane, Shane, you... Wait. Sh Shaney official? Shaney official, I think, maybe. Hi, hi, how you doing? And uh, Freddy, well, uh, yeah, you came for the last game here. And we just now started the second set, which is going to be King of the Hill, 3v3. And uh, Blood Diamond's going to have Togo, Diego, and Z. As well as Fraternity having Greg, Freezer, and Mr. Fan. I'm a huge... I'm not gonna... No. I... No. Mm -mm. One minute. Two percent. Fraternity. Fraternity. That means Fraternity. So yes, Fraternity is gonna be on the blue side here. And uh, first player for Fraternity is gonna be Greg. Who has... Uh, he's been one of the 2v2 players here in the first set. And uh, he has won both. Very strong so far. So let's see if he can make it a hat trick here. Or possibly even more. Faces up against a barbarian hunt here from Togo. Goes with the musketeer as well. So let's see. Yeah, uh, musketeer is gonna be able to kill the first wave, and then I think it will stop before the bridge for the th second and actually even third wave, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, Greg is, doesn't really seem to care much about the Musketeer there. Just goes for uh, Sparky. We'll leave the Musketeer unsupported here. Let's see what the Sparky does and if it's going to be supported. Mega Minion going straight for that Sparky. No, Greg is just going to go back in to defense with that Mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Nice fireball value there on the Musketeer. Is the Mini P.E.K.K.A. fast enough? No, the Skellies will deny the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to kill on the Musketeer here. Uh, good play by Togo. Adds a lot of pressure to that tower, uh, to that push. Bats are able to kill that, and uh, actually, just bats are perfect here. Wow, they get a lot of value. So much value that Togo is going to snowball that. Uh, but I think the musketeer should be able to defend this. Quite alright. Yeah, shouldn't be any hits, should it? Uh, maybe one. Yep, one hit. Freddy. A lot of lot of commands. I'm not going to read them. Like that's too much. But uh, for everybody in the chat, that uh, I like the rules one. We, we, we need to work on that though, but I like it. It's good work by Freddy. It's good work. Um, ooh, yeah, that Sparky might get some value here. Musketeer sadly died. But let's see what the Sparky does here. <laughs> when you get the Valium, it's a positive fucking elixir trade. Bam! Oh, that musketeer got some nice damage on that Dark Prince, and I think with the Barpat, like the Barpat, is adding a lot of defense to Togo's uh, deck here. Uh, it's like, it's really doing good. It's pretty much 1v1. Like, with, without the Barthop, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And again, we see the musketeer with the spark in the back. Uh, I'm not too sure about that play. Like, he's just cycling the musketeer, I understand that. But this time around, it's going to be a grave there as well. And spark is just shooting one skelly. Rip much. This is a good push, though, for Greg. Let's see, the bar part is not that healthy anymore. Dark Prince is still there. Fireball on the muskie. Getting that a little bit closer to everything. Spark is going to shoot on the skellies, though. And uh, Dark Prince is going to die early enough here. Wait, Freddy. Take that out with the you have the big gay. Like, nothing like that. Uh, Goblin Giant is getting a lot of value here, getting another hit, nice fireball value as well. And uh, damage-wise, Greg is now ahead for the first time in this game. We are down to the last 145 minutes here, so this could very well go into overtime. Uh, excuse me, we are already into overtime. This could go into the tiebreaker after uh, overtime here. Which would uh, definitely change the matchup here. Togo has the poison, which uh, probably is going to be a bit easier to get the value out of than a fireball. Thank you, Freddy. Fixed by grammar. <laughs> and again, nice fireball value, but is it going to be enough, right? So that's 1437 against 1516 here. Uh, Togo should be back to his poison here, which he probably will get the value on the Sparky. Let's see if he does. Musketeer. Ooh, I was going to say that Musketeer shouldn't lock on. Like, this is damage you cannot take in the last minute of the game here. Not the Goblin Giant. And uh, interesting graveyard here, but I think it is worth it. I'm not sure. That graveyard might have been really, really worth it to just go empty. But uh, Togo's doing a good job at defending that. Greg is doing a good job at getting his fireball value, which is very important. And now he is actually one fireball ahead. So he played a fire, uh, he played fire, two fireballs while Togo only played one poison. In the last 30 seconds, another defensive graveyard here for Togo. Uh, but he's behind, behind in damage here. Zap and fireball on that tower. The Goblin Giant is getting hit. And this is a big, big damage advantage here now for Greg in the last 15 seconds. This is going to be very hard for Togo to come back. He has the graveyard though. Let's see how much that graveyard does. Goes for the snowball. Oh, that goblin giant is so good at defense. That poison is not going to be enough. And this should be game for Greg here. Goes for another fireball just for the sake of it. Well played by Greg. Well played. Uh, no, I want our commands. What do you mean our... Oh, I think it is our commands, no? If I click on that. It hasn't. Uh, I thought it. Okay, okay. Right, so that is the 104 Blood Diamond here in the second set. S uh, in the second set. And wait. What? Okay. Actually, yeah, Togo won this. No, actually, Greg won this. Excuse me. Greg won this. So that's the. Uh, no, that's right. Greg is from Fraternity. I'm confusing myself right now. Okay. That is the 1-0 in the second set here for Fraternity. First set went to Blood Diamond. All right. Next up is going to be Diego against Greg here. Oh, yeah. That's still a thing. The brackets. Wait, Freddy, can you delete uh, the bracket command from Nightbot, I think? Wait, you're having all the things. No, from Streamlabs. Wait, I can do that. No, wait, I'm confused. No, I, yeah, anyway, let's go into the game here again, sorry. So, it is gonna be Greg against Diego here. Uh, if Greg can seal this win in as well uh there's going to be one more player left from fraternity uh excuse me from blood diamond here which is very important so fraternity needs to win this set otherwise they have lost this match here and we see now a lava hound from diego here okay greg oh, i think greg is playing my deck 
Oh, is he now? I think he is. Oh, he is playing. Oh, that's my main deck. I love him. I love him. Let's see how he plays. Uh, he does have a nice matchup here against the Lava Hound, especially with that uh, Snowball. Snowball is going to help a lot. So Diego, um, the big problem is that cannon card, right? So Mega Knight is a nice counter against that Mega uh, Cannon card. Other than that, uh, you got to eat some damage. Nice Minder there, uh, nice and early as well. And uh, getting some nice damage here with the Stab Goblins is very important. This is going to be like, this is kind of a chip, uh, chip deck. And then at some point, maybe get some towers if you do overwhelm them. Mega Knight in the middle, tanking for everything. Again, is a very, very beautiful. Very, very nice. That value was uh, really, really... Oof, loving it. Okay, wait. I'm kind of biased because it's my main deck. But uh, yeah, Greg is doing really good here. He is ahead in damage. And uh, he does have a good matchup here. So he does have a lot of units that will swarm and uh, punish Diego for placing that Lava Hound, as you can see right now. So that tower is going to go down, even with that sap, that's just not enough. And Infernal Dragon is going to just stay there for an eternity, I think. And that's some nice early damage on the Lava Hound as well. Baby Dragon is going to be some problem. Interesting minor here, just to kind of defend uh, everything that's behind there. Going for the poison, I think that poison was definitely worth it. And uh, the defense here for the Skelly Barrel as well. Love Hound actually not popping as fast as he would have hoped to. But that is fine. Ooh, next guards here. Nice kite on that Inferno though here from Diego. And that's actually a lot here. This could be troublesome for Greg to defend, but he does have to poison. And yeah, tower is at 777. Still some damage. Fireball as well. But with 20, 10 seconds. 168 minor. Is that going to be caught by Greg? Let's see. Uh, goes for the snowball, Ooh, but it's not fast enough with his miner, and the guards are not fast enough, 56 is what it's at, wow, so that's another good game here for Fred, uh, for, excuse me, for Greg, wait, Freddy, are you deleting then, thank you, man, command does not exist, no, wait, delete the one in, no, it's actually good if you delete the one in Nightbot, that's actually correct, all right, so Greg has already won twice in this King of the Hill. If he does it another time, they will be winning this, I think. Yeah, I should be winning this. I think I'm kind of lost in the score here. So wait, Greg has always won so far. Yeah, that's the 1-0 for Greg. That is... Ah, no, actually. Yeah, it is. 2-0 for Greg, and now we're here in the King of the Hill as well. And Greg is playing for Fraternity. Now we get it. Okay, so if Greg wins this, Fraternity is going to win the match. If uh, he loses, Fraternity has two more chances to win the match. So it's looking very good for Fraternity here. And uh, it's also looking very, very good for Greg. Just uh, being the definitely MVP here. Adri... 51 2 2v2, and we're leading 2-0 in King of Hill. exactly. Yeah, sorry, mate, I kind of got confused and everything. Um, but yeah, Fraternity so far has won every match, well, every game. And again, if Greg is going to win this, that would be the last game, and Fraternity would have won the match. Just to clear everything out, especially my head. No problem, nice stream. Well, thank you for showing up, by the way. You playing for Fraternity? And, uh, not sure if he needs to defend that miner. Are you playing tonight as well? Okay, going for the miner here for Z, with the wall break as well. Uh, Z so far, just going for the magic guard. The magic guard is not enough. Oh, actually with the sap it is. Interesting combination here. Uh, that's nice to know, but miner still got a lot of damage. <laughs> what is L? All right. Oh, uh, Pekka is getting some nice value here from Z. Let's see if we can support it. I'm manager. I don't play tonight, but I'll probably play in Team Wars next Sunday. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so you were already in chat, right? I do remember you correctly. So, yeah, I'm excited for Team Wars this week again. And... Uh, so C so far didn't get any damage in, but uh, Greg didn't really get either. 
Uh, but uh, it's still looking good for Greg here. Double Elixir might be changing that. But I think with the Mega Knight on the ram, he should be fine. He does have the tool to kind of stall with the P.E.K.K.A. and get that damage on that thing. OP Audrey, best manager ever. That's cool. No, no, Mac. Hi. Hello. How you all doing? It's lovely to see new faces in stream. <clears throat> So yeah, Greg is doing really, really good so far. Like, I mean, I can't say that he would have sweeped a team on his own, but uh, he has been a member of every win in this match so far. Uh, but yeah, in 2v2, obviously, there's two players, right? But let's see, uh, that's another nice minor chip here for Greg. And I think that's probably the biggest damage we're going to see in this uh, in this game here. Ghost is actually getting some nice value that he was just kind of played. It's going to be easy for Greg to kill that off for the Inferno Dragon, which is nice. He doesn't really need to care about the match gotcha either. Uh, maybe he needs to care about the bandit, but I think he's just going to go for a late Ewis and not support an Inferno Tower, uh, Inferno Dragon, excuse me, which is kind of interesting here. Let's see. Uh, ooh, wall Breakers on the bandit is actually very interesting. I'm from the second team of Fraternity, so thanks Adri for the link. Well, thank you as well, Adri, for sending that link. Very nice. Oh, and this is the problem I've talked about. This is a lot. He doesn't have the Mega Knight for the Ram anymore. He needs to defend the Bandit as well. And uh, this is actually a lot of damage here. Bandit is there. Two Barbarians, nice sap though. He's doing a good job of defending, but the damage is definitely there. And this could be a hard cycle to get out of again for Greg here. Next Ram is there. He doesn't have the Elixir for the Ram. He needs to defend for the Royal Ghost as well. And I think this is going to be game for uh, Z here. Let's see. Yep, that Poison and the Bandit will seal the deal. Well, mostly just a Bandit. I mean, totally just a Bandit. But uh, well played by Z. What a comeback here. In the end, uh, the pressure just... Uh, Greg let the pleasure pressure loose. I mean, he ha had a hard matchup, but I think it was definitely possible for uh, either of those to win. Right, and that now means this is going to be the first win for Blood Diamond here. And uh, Z is going to stay on here in this King of the Hill. It's not over. Again, uh, next player is going to be Freezer. If uh, Z loses, as soon as Z loses here in this King of the Hill, that will be game over for Blood Diamond. And they're already in the next game. Uh, Wallbreaker split. How I love it. He was fast enough. He is not. There is a zap needed. Okay, so Freezer is playing very, very cyclic deck here. Uh, going for the minor control with the wall breakers and straight up Pekka from Z on to that minor. He does not care. Skelly actually gets a hit in, which is interesting. Uh, Firecracker here from Freezer as well. And I think this is a deck where uh, you play mini Pekka, maybe. Maybe that's with the Piglet. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, the Firecracker is going to get some nice damage. That Tornado doesn't really do anything. So that's pretty much minus one here for... Well, actually, minus three, I guess. Wallbreak has got some nice damage on that tower as well. Miner with the next Wallbreak. So that was some really fast cycling here from Freezer. And I think this could be the big problem, especially in single elixir here for Z. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Wow, really good play by Freezer here. It's not looking good. So let's see. Freezer, his deck kind of looks like he has a balloon as well. But uh, not too sure about that. Now we see the mini P.E.K.K.A. again. Walking alone. Walking straight up to that tower. Ooh, P.E.K.K.A. in the last second here. He's going to do quick work of that mini P.E.K.K.A. But I think Freezer has enough. Uh, like He's so cycly. He shouldn't have any problem with that P.E.K.K.A. here. We will see... Okay, Skelly's first, and probably then after we're going to see an Ice Golem kiting that P.E.K.K.A. over to Neverland. Look at that. We're going to go on an adventure. Bye, P.E.K.K.A. See you another day. Miner gets caught by the Ice Whist, though. Really nice. Uh, Log just a cycle from Freezer uh, to get another hit as well, actually, on a Miner. But I think the Miner was fast enough with the Ice Whist as well. And look at that P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. has no health. But there is the Balloon from C. And uh, Freezer has the rocket ready, though. Oh my god, that rocket. I think that rocket pretty much seals the deal here in the matchup. Uh, like, that balloon is not getting anywhere. Freezer has no need to play that rocket anywhere else. He should be fine with defending. 
Um, just going to go for the wall breakers here to kind of try to get some elixir off that push on the right hand side. Nice tornado though on a firecracker. And this could be actually a little bit difficult for Freezy to defend. Is he back to the rocket? He is back to the rocket, get some nice damage, but nothing is on that balloon, and the freeze is there, so again, this is a lot of damage here. Firecracker is not shooting the balloon, this is going to be the tower gone, and let's see if Freeze can take it back. Wow, Z out of nowhere with that balloon push here, Miner is getting a lot of chip, but that is not enough, and with 10 seconds, that is actually not, okay, it's, it is rocket range with that log, very important, and we're gonna, we are gonna go play on into the sudden death here. Ooh, another P.E.K.K.A coming down. I think this this early stacked up P.E.K.K.A in the back was a big problem for Freeze the last time around. He got a bit outplayed there, so let's see how it works this time around. Mind around the tower. There is a tornado value again. So I think, yeah, the tornado was the big problem the last time around. And then the Freeze on that balloon. Let's see, Rocket. Yep, Rocket actually missing the balloon, and that is going to be the game for C, and I think it would have been game anyway, because the freeze just froze everything, and the balloon would have survived the Rocket. So C is taking another win, Plot Diamond is not done yet. So we are now in the last game of the King of the Hill. Again, Z needs to win this, otherwise Plot Diamond would lose this match. <laughs> Anton, who's winning? Uh, first set went to Fraternity Esports, and it is now 2-2 in the second set. So next game is going to be very deciding. Let's see if C can take it one more time. Freddy's mom is winning. Oh my. I'm not going to use this. Anton, you may. Alright, Mr. Fan is going to be the next player here against Z. Well, it's actually it's Z. I always, excuse me. Uh, can we talk less and play more? Hello? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll never know. Wait, maybe it's just... No, actually, they both wrote, so that's good. Anton, why are you still here? I think you need to sleep, no? You said you were super tired. You got homework? Phoenix is always doing homework while he's still watching my stream, which is really, really cool of him. Like, I, I think I would distract myself so much from that. Alright, Zed versus Mr. Fan. What is homework? <laughs> yep. I'm the same man, what is homework? Absolutely. It's not good. Well, I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> uh, I hope that you get far enough in school where you have to and want to do it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I totally get it. Like, it's, yeah. I already did my homework today. I did it online. Wow, you did your homework online? That sounds like cheating. Right, Mr. Fan versus C versus Z. Well, I didn't notice that. Anyway, so uh, Z needs to win this. Fan, like, he wants to win this, but uh, they are just going to go into the third set if Fan loses this. Nice up there, getting a minor hit as well. Oh, almost a second. But uh, yeah, that's a minus one for one minor hit. I think that's okay. Brother, don't ask me about school. You don't want to know. <laughs> okay, yeah, will not. Nick and I! Hello, my lovely little trashback. How you doing? Oh, uh, that... Wow, that execution just barely missed the tower there. It would have been some nice damage. Ooh, very aggressive uh, Royal Giant here. Running into Pekado from Mr. Fan. That Royal Giant with the Rage still getting it. Three hits off, and that's 1700 already. Pekka dies anyway because of the Mega Minion. Minor, not a big deal. And this is actually looking very good for Z here, for Z. Nyam, 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 nyam. I think, like, he's just gonna be C now. Sorry, mate. I know it's set, but, but like, it's C. <laughs> I've said it too many times. It's just how it is now. <laughs> and we see another furnace here from Z. Miner is gonna go on the tower. 
nothing really on a furnace, but they makes the lumberjack late on the miner, which is nice, getting an extra hit. But uh question is how is Mr. Fan gonna deal with that furnace? It's gonna draw over the lumberjack as well as the spirits, really nice with that executioner there. Okay. And well I don't know. Again, it's looking not really good for Mr. Fan here. I don't really like he has that Pekka on the Royal Giant. But uh that Royal Giant is still gonna get one hit off and uh he's not. He's like that Pekka is gonna die before it even walks over that bridge. Which is very sad, which uh makes counter push for Mr. Fan rather difficult. And uh, yeah, altogether, like this matchup is really good for Z, Z again. Ooh, we see Balloon though from Mr. Fan here on the right hand side. Let's see. That Ewis is not going to be enough. Mega Minion is going to be a big help though. But I think that might still be a damage. It is because of that Zap. Well played. <sighs> yeah, that execution is going to get nicely zapped by that Ewis. Wow, beautiful. And they both die. Pekka is kind of healthy though, but this could be a nice counter push by Z. Let's see another Royal Giant, and Mr. Fan is just going to go hard for the Balloon. Who's faster here? He has the NATO, but the second furnace is going to deny the Balloon pretty much any hits. And this should be game for Z here, let's see. And there is the final blow. Well played. Well played by both of these, but uh, the furnace was ready for that Balloon. Pekka is a good matchup? No, 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 no. How is that not a good matchup for RG? Is it not? Well, maybe the balloon. Yeah, I didn't see the balloon when I said that. Balloon changes stuff. Yeah, but I mean, if, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Might be true. So C played really, really, really good here. Uh, that was actually a reverse sweep in the King of the Hill, meaning we are now going into the third set here, which is going to be a best of three, and I think no bans so far. Yeah, I don't think any bans. Uh, it's going to be Freezer versus C here. Again, best of three, so this could be over quickly. You're so trash in this game, like what the fuck? Shut up, Anton. You're not even playing. That makes me better than you. Puh. Pekka can easily shut down Archie if the Pekka user uses NATO. Like, get new brains or something. No, I mean, again, I didn't see the balloon. I didn't know he died. I don't know, that's not really helping. Yeah, I'm bad at matchups. I don't care. Hopefully I'm at least entertaining. That's all I need to do. Like, I'm not here to analyze. If I need somebody to analyze, I cry <laughs> because I don't have friends. Nah. Anyway, let's get into the game here. So... This is the first game of the best of three here. Uh, we see Freezer playing that wall breaker with the firecracker here. Firecracker is actually going to overtake the line. Uh, Ice Golem here and activate the main tower as well because of that furnace. Ooh, that's not a good start here. C again playing that Royal Giant. Ewis is really good here, high up, really nice. And I think the Lumberjack is a good kite. Lumberjack actually surviving. So the Rage is dropped a little bit lower, and that Royal Giant is locked onto that tower, getting a lot of damage. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, that's really good by Z here. That's a good start. Mini Pekka should be dying here. Yep. And interesting counter push, maybe a bit uh, big elixir counter push, to be honest here, for what it really is. But uh, Z is still going in here. Baby Dragon is locked onto the tower. Barbarian as well. So the Barbarian was actually really good as well. This is so good for the Miner deck. Well, it doesn't really look like it. Z seems to be very, very proficient with his Royal Giant to the way it looks like. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, we are now in double elixir, and I think, okay, we see the first wall breaker miner push here. Furnace is rather annoying, so what should Freezer do against the Furnace? Like, I don't know, mate. Firecracker? Is that enough against the Furnace? I mean, you have Ewis, high Ewis. Mm. 
Miner again. Wall breakers are there. Ooh, yeah, Fire Cracker getting some nice value, but the Furnace is not going to die before the Fall Breakers reach. Sadly, but the Miner got some damage. Now, interesting enough, Z is going to go on the right-hand side. It feels very safe to have that tower in the next, uh, in the next 20 seconds. And, uh, well, more, more so he's feeling very confident about not losing his own tower. Getting a lot of damage here on the right side as well. Lumberjack needs to be defended. We're probably going to see a uh, Royal Giant being dropped soon. No, Baby Dragon first. And uh, Freeze had expected that Royal Giant as well. Went for the ba uh, Mini Pekka. And uh, just kind of used that. Now we see a late Royal Giant. Uh, the Baby Dragon is sealing that deal anyway. Well played by Z. And uh, now it is actually looking rather good for Blood Diamond out of nowhere. If uh, Blood Diamond actually has match point here. So if C wins this next game against Freezer, it is over. If Freezer wins this, we are going to go for the last and final game. So let's see how this pans out. Or if Freezer is even accepting, maybe. There we go. Potentially, but maybe not last game. Mm -hmm. So they're just playing. Uh, Freezer is probably going to be very, very cautious on what to do here. He definitely does not want to lose this game. And I should be having chosen a deck in uh, with this in hindsight. But let's see what he did. Okay, we see a Royal Ghost from Z. Freeze is going to go for a Dark Prince on the other side. Interesting enough that it's going to go for the other side. Um, Freezer probably playing Fekka Bridge Spam something. Uh, Zoe C maybe. Like, like Z is with a Royal Ghost and a Bandit. That's pretty sure that he's playing the Pekka, uh, Pekka Ram deck. Now he's leaking quite a bit though, just waiting for his opponent to catch up here. Uh, again, he does want to be reactive, not active. Let's see how that goes. Hey Vince, by the way, how you doing? Lovely to have you here, man. Ooh, nice poison here on the musketeer. I think the magic archer might be able to reach the tower. Oh, just barely off. But uh, it's still daunting. Still going to be some nice damage here for Z. Ah, there is a Sparky though. So yeah, Freezer is playing the Goblin Giant Sparky deck, obviously. My bad. Against a pack of Ram. Now please, Anton, enlighten me on the matchup here. You are good. Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, I think Freezer, that's a big push here. Oh, nice e -whiz, though. Very important e -whiz. The timing is good. Mini Pekka chose to go on that e -whiz, though. And uh, the Sparky might be supported by a Dark Prince. Yes, it is. It definitely is. What a daunting push here from Freezer. Royal Ghost is going to be able to seal the deal here, though. <laughs> Freddy, he's trash. He only watches pros because he gets the rate from ladder. Yeah, I'm really bad at playing. Big big noob. Big, big noob. But, but that doesn't matter. I love to commentate, so hopefully I'm a little bit better at that. You can be the judge of this. And this is actually a big push here on both sides, as he so far is the only one that really got damage here. And let's see if Freezer is able to get some damage back this time around. Pekka on that Sparky, seeding that deal here. Mini Pekka actually gets a hit on the left hand side. Uh, giant Goblin, the uh, Goblin Giant as well, though. But nah, it's not looking good for Freezer here, to be honest. Again, if Zed wins this game, that's going to be game over here for Fraternity. And Blood Diamond has actually gone. And reversed sweeped. Uh, well, Z has done that for Blood Diamond. And it's looking definitely like it. So that is Tower Gone. And that is Time Over. And that means GG for Blood Diamond. Out of nowhere, Zed came in and decided that this is going to be his win and not Fraternity. Wow. So GG to both teams. Well played. But uh, yeah, Zed was... Uh, I lift my hat to you is that I was really good. That was a good back sweep. That uh, this, yeah, this set definitely took longer than expected. Well, not this, this match. And it is late. I am tired. I'm happy to be able to stream these matches though. But this was the last for today. 
So uh, I'm going to say goodbye.